Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, so sorry if it's a little bit noisy, the windows are open because it's hot, it's weird, it's actually hot outside and I'm not complaining, look at this lighting, it is banging, but um, it's so hot in this flat and I wanted to wear a nice jumper because it's technically autumn now, so I wanted to come on here in autumn attire, look at this gorgeousness, I'll link it down below if you like it. I have been living in this jumper, it is so nice. I posted it over on Instagram and you guys loved it too. It is super cosy, I absolutely love it. And I wanted to come on here in the correct attire for an autumn transitional video. So I thought I'd come on in this with all the windows open in my flat. Okay, so I did a ASOS haul and not too long ago it was my pastel haul I'll add a card up here if you fancy watching it um, and it had more like all pastel stuff that I had been ordering from ASOS and I thought now that we're transitioning into autumn let's add some neutrals in there so I have been wearing a lot of neutrals and pastels and I love the look so I thought I would get some bits from ASOS that complement the pastels that I already have and that are also going to be really nice key pieces for transitioning into autumn. I absolutely love autumn weather. I really like spring and autumn are probably my favourite like fashion moments. Just because in winter I, I get cold. I just don't like winter. I get cold. I complain. I don't like snow. I'm just a, I'm a person that gets cold. And in the summer, um, I just feel like it's very easy to just throw on a tank top and a skirt, some shorts, and a t-shirt. Um, and you can keep it really casual whereas in autumn and spring you get to add flair to your outfits and layer and um, I have some dimension to your outfits which I absolutely love so without further ado let's get into it okay so without further ado I picked up a pair of boots I have loads of boots but I needed I needed this pair of boots Okay, I had to get a hold of a pair of those platform retro style boot that is coming in at the moment and sock boots I always find are so flattering on calves, it's ridiculous. They make you look like you've got tiny ankles and it's just super flattering. So I had to pick these up and I absolutely love the way they look. I think that the quality is also really nice. You can see how chunky that heel is. So, so, so nice. I absolutely love them i feel like i'm gonna wear them with so much and because they've got that platform it's not like a really high heel it feels like you're wearing a very comfortable heel and i just think they're really wearable with everything i did size up and i got size 5 i'm a 4.5 by the way and i feel like they fit really nicely because they are a little bit stretchy because of the suede material and yeah i just really really like them i think they're gonna be so cute worn with like mom jeans and a t-shirt or a blazer as well or even like a skirt and a band tee tucked in they're gonna look good to me so much and yeah i cannot wait to wear them they are just the cutest i did say i was gonna wear a jumper for this video but it is so hot in here i don't even know what's happening is is it even autumn anymore the next item i picked up is this skirt it is a brown corduroy skirt, like a chocolate brown, and it also has, obviously, because I love them, a slit down the front. And I just thought this would be a really cute little mini skirt to transition into autumn winter with. I love skirts like this anyway with slits in, you'll probably see in all of my other videos, but I absolutely love these skirts. And I thought I would get one in a chocolate brown colour just to transition with. I think this would look really cute with... Um, lighter nude tones or lilac or blue even with white I think it looks really classic and I think that the fit on it is also really nice I did get it in a petite 10 and it fits really really nicely it is a little short um, but it does fit my proportions better than a normal like non petite skirt would so I don't really mind that all too much um, I would say obviously if you're not petite don't order the petite one I'll link both below for you guys they also do a plus size one as far as I'm aware so I'll link that down below as well but I thought this would be a really nice staple you could also wear this with tights um, and I think it would look just as cute like tights and knits and boots really cute and I think that the quality is really nice as well I really can't wait to wear this one I think the color is gorgeous like it's chocolate brown and yeah really really love this piece for transitioning okay so next i picked up this little top and it's just gorgeous it's this ruched like cream crop top and it has almost like a cloud vibe to it it's very ruched and it has all of these the hook and eye detail going down the front and i just thought it would be a really really nice little crop i did get it in a medium and it's from a brand called em emery park and I would say I could have easily got a small in this. There's a lot of room. And I think, to be honest, it would have been so much more flattering in a small. 
but it did sell out in a small so I will be keeping it in a medium and I just thought it would be really cute to layer with um, wide leg jeans and I think that would be a really cute little look with a baguette bag and maybe some air forces I think that look really cute I just love the texture and I feel like it's very autumn it's very crinkly but yeah I love it I think it's really cute it's very on trend I think it's also something really different about it it definitely looks more expensive than it was I think it definitely looks more like a revolve top especially with these detailing down the front and yeah I think it looks adorable of course it tops are very in right now um, I featured one in my misguided haul as well that has a similar sort of effect and I really liked that one so yeah really happy with this piece and I will probably style it with yeah wide leg jeans I think just to add a little juxtaposition because this is obviously very like girly and flirty and it needs a bit of edge to it so I'd style it with some wide leg jeans Next I picked up this knit and it's basically a o-ring knit so the goes down like this but you can have it all the way undone if you like and have it like open you can have it half done you can have it done all the way up Ooh. you can have it done all the way up should you wish um, but yeah it looks so cute tucked into jeans um, even just out of jeans I think it kind of looks better baggy but I've seen a lot of people like tucking it in it depends on your vibe I guess I kind of like it with my flares just like as a normal jumper just like hanging not tucked in I love the sleeves because they're not tight or anything they're just like a normal sleeve they just go straight down the arm like a straight sleeve and I think the color is really cute they also have this one in I think it's like a teal blue and then a brown and also a white they have it in loads of different colors i'll link them all down below in case you want to have a look at the other colors as well but i would highly highly recommend this it is so comfortable i've worn this so much already which is why there's probably like yeah there's some marks and stuff on it i have worn this a lot um i thought i would show you guys this before i throw it in the wash um i did get a size 10 and yeah i think it fits really nice it's an oversized fit so i didn't want to size up again usually in something like this i'd get a 12 but um, it's already oversized, so yeah, it really does the job, and I think it's going to look so cute. Style with so many different things, like skirts, trousers, jeans, everything. So it's a really good staple piece. Okay, next up is this little skirt, which I think is absolutely adorable. It's like a nude style um, tartan print. I think it's really cute. And I think the colour is just gorgeous. I did get it in a size 10. And it fits like a 10, it fits really nicely. It is one of those skirts that literally comes all the way undone. And I kind of don't like that. Because it's like completely open and then you wrap it round and you pop this in here. And then you bring it over and you hook this on there. And then it is on. Um, the other day I was actually wearing it with Alex and um, I hadn't realised. Because I could not feel it. The inside button had come undone and literally the skirt was like this like that like open like open at the front and i didn't even notice it's so lucky i had cycling shorts underneath i had little black cycling shorts on because we did a few outfit changes um but so lucky i had um cycling shorts underneath because it was just open and i hadn't noticed i had no clue that that had happened so for that reason I do prefer skirts with zips because I just don't like it when they open like that. I think if I was to wear this again I would probably put a safety pin in, literally just do it up and pop a safety pin in because with these skirts like you don't need to like undo them for any reason throughout the day. So I'd probably just pop a safety pin in and it would pro basically be fine. Um, I don't think there'd be any problem with it but if you are going to buy this just be aware. It happened to me it just popped right open but i really like the whole look of it it is quite short i would say um but um it's supposed to be it's a little skirt i am five foot two when it comes to you know mid thigh so i'd say that's pretty short if you're any taller than me it's just going to get even shorter so maybe try a few sizes to see if the length changes a little bit maybe but um i overall really really like this skirt i will just be safety pinning it from now on because yeah we can't have that popping open left right and center i i just i can't believe i didn't even notice guys next up we have this jumper and i did feature this in my last asos video with the pastel haul um but i thought i'd mention it again because it is such a good transitional piece and if you haven't watched that video you wouldn't have seen this so i'll show you anyway it is basically like a balloon sleeve let me unroll it it's a balloon sleeve jumper that's a v-neck 
lovely 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 like oatmeal kind of color knit with a wide neckline i just think this is an adorable little jumper to wear with skirts with jeans i think you style this with so much it's very similar to the one with the zip up the front um but this one is just a bit more neutral colored whereas the other one is definitely like a cream whereas this is definitely like an oatmeal neutral and the difference in the neckline really makes a difference to the whole look so yeah i'm pretty sure i ordered this one in a 10 yeah, I ordered this one in a 10. It is very, very oversized, to be honest with you. I could have done with an 8, just because I'm so tiny. This is almost a dress on me, because I am so small, so I could have probably gone for an 8. Um, but that's no, no worries. It looks really nice oversized, and I can tuck it into things, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this one again, because I've been wearing an awful, awful lot. So yeah, love it. Last but not least, we have this puffer jacket. It is very big, so you're gonna be able to see it better like on the cutaway than right here because it's just so, so, so big. But I absolutely love it. I might have to send it back to get the petite one just because it is a little bit long on me. I'm not sure. Um, I got it in the normal size 10 and it is very, very, very um, puffy and it is a gorgeous color. Like it is, the color is absolutely stunning the material itself is quite stiff but i quite like that because it holds its shape it is definitely like puffery and i love the way that it even goes on to the hood i really really like that i think that obviously it's a little bit early to wear it now but i wanted to get some neutrals in now because i had the problem last year where i actually waited too long i waited it until it got to maybe mid october to start looking for stuff like this and by that time, things were selling out so quickly, I actually couldn't get hold of anything in my size, and I was really disappointed, and I had to look in so many different stores to get something um, that I wanted. So I've tried to start buying earlier so that I'm not disappointed later in time when I actually need these things. The main issue for me is probably the length. It's a little bit long on me. I would say the 10 is also super, super oversized as well. So that's not a problem because when it gets like more into winter, I'll be able to like wear this with jumpers underneath, which was the goal. So that's totally okay. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to pick up the petite one so that it actually fits me in length. But all in all, I absolutely love it. I love the pockets. I think that they're fab and they're Velcro as well, which is great. So you don't have to like fuss around with like poppers or actual buttons. They're just Velcro up and down, which we love. And I think the lining is also super comfortable as well. It's quite breathable. So yeah, cannot wait to wear and style this because the colour is just so gorgeous. I think it's called cappuccino colour and that is exactly the colour that it is, is it not? I almost completely forgot that I had a handbag to show you guys because basically when I get a new bag or if there's a new week or any point in time I want to change up my bag for an outfit or something, I tend to just put my stuff in whichever bag I'm wearing the most and goes with the most stuff so that I can like hang it up by the door grab it and go and I know it's going to like suit everything so when I was getting all this stuff together for this haul I was like I'm sure there's something else but I don't know what I don't know what it is and it's this bag and it's because it's been hanging by my door because I've been wearing it ever since I got it and it is just the most gorgeous I don't know if you can tell probably the same color as my hair like really really dark chocolate brown with gold accents and I just think that it is the cutest bag for autumn winter because it's going to match with all of my neutrals and pull everything together like pull the whole outfit together um i do have a white one and a black kind of baguette bag but i wanted something that was just like just not black and i got it it's a gorgeous chocolate like dark dark chocolate color and it sits really nicely i love it you've probably seen me wear it on instagram a few times now because i love it that much but um I'm a big fan. I'm a really, really big fan. And for the price, I think it is so, so, so nice. There are similar ones on like Shein and stuff like this, but I actually think that this one is really good quality. Again, in my pastel video, I did a video with a lilac bag, really similar to this one. It's a lilac bag. And the quality just didn't, it wasn't there. Still really nice and I did keep it, but the quality was like, eh. This, the quality is so, so, so good. And I think it was the same price as the lilac one, so I'm a little bit confused. But the quality of this one is really, really, really nice. I, think, I hope you guys can tell. It looks so much more expensive than it is. I absolutely love it. We have had some seriously cold weather and torrential rain, and as soon as it turned September 1st, the sun came out and it was like, ha, psych. <laughs> Uh, which is just great, but I thought they would be fun to film this video anyway. I know a lot of people are buying 
um, autumn transitional pieces like I am. A lot of people get very excited about autumn weather and I'm feeling cosy guys. So I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you enjoyed the more neutral pieces. If you want some ideas on styling neutrals and pastels let me know down below and maybe I could do a styling video for you guys. Um, let me know what you think if you fancy me doing that. Um, I always like hearing from you guys what you want to see from me especially when it comes to styling like what do you want to see me style? Um, that's really handy. My favourite item in the haul is that little baguette bag, 100%. It is so, so, so nice and it goes with so much. And I've already worn it so much already and I've had it for like a week. You know you're into a winner when you get a piece and you wear it all the time. So I think that is my favourite item in the haul. As always, let me know what your favourite item in the haul was in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!